uh, I figured out Salt Order, and I didn't really like I, what you saw was what you got on that one. Um, the the salt mechanic is a little wonky, and I, I think it's a neat idea, but it's it's just kind of weird. Anyway, I'm gonna return to Fiend's Isle because um, the uh, hello Warlord X Games. Uh, thanks for stopping by playing through a bunch of these things and heresy killer how's it going doing some demos today fiends isle this is a king's field like game i'm coming back to this because uh i tried playing this and i did not like it <laughs> i i wouldn't say i didn't like it i would say there were many things i did like about it and then some some like serious design concerns that I have about it. So anyway, I'm going to play it. Um, so this is this is heavily inspired by Kingsfield. Kingsfield is the predecessor to Dark Souls. Um, and to the point where, where you can find objects from the Dark Souls world in Kingsfield. Uh, I was just playing Kingsfield 1 yesterday, uh, just for fun on my own. And uh, the first merchant you run into sells you an item called Seath's Plume, um, which is an obvious Dark Souls reference. There's the Moonlight Greatsword, there's all kinds of stuff. But anyway, so I'm going to play a bit... Oh, the resolution's weird. That's odd. Let's see if I can fix that. But this is... Oh, uh-oh. Yeah, this is a real problem. Uh, graphic settings. Full screen. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Well. Yeah, so this is a um, roguelike or roguelite uh, in the veins of King vein of Kingsfield. Oh, I just saw that... Uh, you actually raided. Well, thank you for the raid. <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, this game is in the vein of Kingsfield, uh, but it has a few differences. So I'm going to test a few things. The first is that in Kingsfield, you had two meters, uh, aside from your health and uh, magic meter. One of those was your stamina meter for attacks, and the other was your stamina meter that was a general stamina meter. And when you ran, both meters depleted. So you'd, you'd run, uh, where's it, that one? Both meters would instantly deplete, but you could run infinitely. And when you stopped running, your general stamina meter would replenish, but your attack meter would wait until the general stamina meter was returned first in order to fill again. And that was because uh, your attack strength uh, relies on uh, the, the amount of your attack meter. So let's see, I'm going to fight this thing even though I'm going to die. This is a sandworm here. which is savage um, but anyway so your uh, yeah your attack strength would rely on um, how filled whoa the stamina bar was um, so that means that it was easier to run away than it was to fight enemies uh, which is a very Dark Souls thing now when I was first playing this I was thinking oh this is really fast for a Kingsfield game and yet when I played Kingsfield last night I was remarking at how it was not fast at all I, I mean it was not slow at all uh, it's a, actually quite a quick game the the walking speed is faster than this in Kingsfield and the running speed is too um, which is kind of interesting uh, what it means is that it is much harder to flee from enemies in this game uh, like you know Dark Souls that was that was a big deal. Also, the skeletons are not complete bullshit in this game. <laughs> oh, they are difficult. But uh, they're doable. Okay, so anyway, I figured out how to do this. Um, okay, what's the... There it is. Uh, there we go. Short sword. Equip. 
yeah, <laughs> I'm running into the dungeon with no health. But uh, anyway, I want to know, does running... Yeah, it does in well, does it increase the turn radius? No, it does not. Freezes the uh, stamina bar, though. In uh, in Kingsfield, the skeletons are just the worst enemy to fight uh, because they they attack relentlessly, and you can't just like walk out of the way and dodge like you could here. Um, so I will give this game props for that because those were the most annoying enemy. Whoa, there it is. Oh, God. That was spooky. Oh, God, I died. Okay. Yeah, this is very hard. And now we come to my actual complaint about this game, which is Dark Souls, as a game, relies on your ability to retry the challenge you are faced with in order to learn and overcome or just completely bypass. Oh my god, I hate these enemies. Um, whereas this game, with it randomized, every single time you die, uh, you have to relearn everything that you were doing, which I don't like. You can learn the encounter, you can learn the general kinds of rooms that the game has, but you can't really learn um, where to go and how to do things. And then certain enemies like the skeletons that chase after you are frustrating to deal with when you have new environments to work with, because you can learn the environment and deal with the enemies that way uh, in, in Kingsfield. You know, if I'm finding the skeleton in this room, I know generally how much space I have to back up and, and rotate and stuff like that. And I'm learning that on the spot in this version, whereas in if, if you have a fixed map, then you can just you can learn exactly how much space you have to do each of these things. Oh god, okay. I'm gonna take a couple hits and we'll just we'll defeat this guy. Okay. Nothing to offer. So I appreciate that it seems like uh, the game is attempting to tailor uh, the experience, like modernize the experience. Because one of the, the awkward things about Kingsfield is Kingsfield and the, the entire series of Kingsfield. Uh, was made before sort of we figured out how to do first person games and so the controls are very oh uh oh that's another problem uh, the controls are very awkward um, in Kingsfield there is no right stick you move forward and backward and then right and left uh, on the control stick turn instead of uh, strafe. And then your triggers will uh, move you up and uh, will move the, the camera up and down and strafe left and right, which is really weird. But anyway, it, it does kind of work. So I appreciate that this game uses modern FPS controls instead of trying to redo that old version. My understanding is that if we throw enough coins into the well, we get something. Oh, we got a mace. There we go. And like in the Dark Souls games, and in the, the first Kingsfield, I guess, the mace does more damage to skeletons, so I appreciate that. That was the thing I was missing when I was playing this before was that I couldn't defeat the skeletons that easily because I didn't have the mace. Oh, you're stuck. <laughs> Compass. And, uh, oh, yep, that's the Kingsfield Compass up in the top right. 
just gives you the direction you're going, which is sort of helpful, I guess. It's helpful because in Kingsfield you get a map, unlike all the other Dark Souls games. Oh, whoops. Oh. Uh, run button. And this is a... This is sort of from Kingsfield. Kingsfield has these, you know, axes and all that. But the difference is that in Kingsfield 1, you don't face these axes... Uh, over a spike pit where you can get pushed off and die and restart the level. You face them in a situation where if you try to move towards them, you actually fall into a lower floor. Uh, and you take a little damage from the fall or whatever. I think you fall on some slimes. But you don't die instantly. And so that's one thing that's like, yes, I understand that this experience is tuned to make this not very difficult if you're running through it. But I don't know. It's just... Almost everything is an instant kill, which means restarting the whole game. And I don't know. I don't really care for that too much. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to att attempt to speed through this. I uh, have an idea of what I'm doing now. And, and let me say for all my complaints about it, like, I'm, if this game comes out, which I hope does, uh, I'm going to buy it and play it on stream, for sure. Let me just make sure things didn't break here. Here we go. Because I would love to see a new Kingsfield game. The feel of the game is great. and I can work my way around, around some of the, the problems that I have. So uh, one of the things I mentioned um, is that, uh, whoa, last time, was that uh, uh, the healing items don't, they only heal like a, like a tenth of the health bar, which is nothing at all. Um, and I, I went back and when I was playing Kingsfield 1, I was like, okay, so so how much do the herbs actually do? Uh, and they heal like like your entire health bar, at least at the start of the game. So, I don't know, that's a minor complaint. It, it's clearly something where now that I learned the enemy encounters, it's not a problem. Okay. Yeah, because see, now they just crumble. <laughs> Reminds you of the first time you played Morrowind? Yeah, probably, right? That was a... So I I actually never played any of the Elder Scrolls games. I know, like, they constantly go on sale. I was always waiting for Skyrim to go on sale for, like, two bucks, and then I never bought it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it does have some of those, those early RPGs stuff about it thing with Kingsfield is that, like it has the brutality and the difficulty of Dark Souls um, but it has all kinds of secrets and it turns out that if you give Kingsfield uh, the, the time you need to actually learn the game like it's actually really well designed the the levels are great uh, the the environment in general is just really well designed enemy uh, enemy encounters could use some work I guess um, but uh, it is kind of cool how you just right off the bat you have all kinds of places you can go okay so I guess the next thing I have to do is I have to traverse the sands and defeat those sandworms or go over here that's where I came from Yeah, my first remark on this game was how the procedural generation of things kind of ends up in situations where you get really unfavorable uh, things happening, like this. <laughs> and like, it's gonna hit me. Oh no, it didn't, good. Cool. And let's just hit Skelly. We got him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that bone looked a little suspicious. <laughs> But I'm really like, 
this is what the se second or third time playing the game I, I died intentionally the first couple times and now I'm just cruising through it so I don't know maybe uh maybe I I'm feeling better about the game but yeah okay door opens that's the end of the demo I think uh yeah so this game uh I can I can figure out how to get through the the roguelike aspect of it if there's so I, I like I need I need information on what the roguelike feature is like what do you preserve after death because if it's absolutely nothing if it's true rogue um, then I don't see this being very fun <laughs> uh, but if there's like you finish a level and then you get to the next level and if you die on the next level you start a level two or whatever that I could see being fine um, it's just that, like, Dark Souls is a system where death is, like, a thing that you learn from and keep working through um, and isn't a restart. That's the main thing. It's like you you keep trying to push inch forward through the curve, uh, whereas with something like this where the, the complete layout changes every single time... Um, then you're you can learn the environment you i mean you can't learn the environment. you can learn the enemy encounters but uh but you're starting from scratch every time you die in terms of finding your way around paths so i don't know i guess it's an issue where i i i take a bit of issue with the concept of dark souls kingsfield being a roguelike <laughs> like I, I i'm not convinced that they're compatible yet i think i could be convinced that they're compatible but i'm not currently but i like the package and presentation of this thing i hope that there's going to be some more interesting enemies because when i played kingsfield one yesterday first thing that you get hit with is like a kraken <laughs> uh and there's there's like a two-headed fire belching snail like there's there's tons of really weird enemies and here you know you got the kingsfield skeletons you got the slimes you got the sand monster or whatever all pretty standard uh it would be cool to see what the the, the new one is at the end here thanks for playing yeah thanks for uh thanks for making this i i wanted to give this another shot because like i went back and played kingsfield one yesterday um and I, and I just played through like the first few hours of it so, and I just wanted to do like a compare and contrast and figure out like what was going on and, and everything um, came back to this and finally beat it <laughs> and, and yeah I, I, and it's just that like I, I love the way the controls are updated uh, modernized first of all being able to play with the right stick I know that's like you know every single one of these games uh, every single one of the old games had that thing with the, the triggers and the, and the bumpers being used for the first person controls because it was an old series uh, and so I appreciate that you didn't try to preserve that <laughs> um, but I was just talking let, let me see if I can let me just play it again um uh, because the one of the the comparisons um, was how the run works, um, because uh, in Kingsfield you could just infinite run, but then when you stopped, that's when the the both bars started to refill again, and I think that might have been what I was missing because what that meant for playing in Kingsfield was that you had an infinite possibility of running away but not an infinite ability to run away and then attack. So it was like a bit of a bit more risk reward with that, where like, you know, you could, you could run away from an enemy, but if you then wanted to go back and fight them again, it meant you had to, you had to time it out a little better. Um, so this is much more of a Dark Souls stamina system. And, and I don't, like that's not a value judgment in any way <laughs> it's just that that's that's how this is working i guess um and i really appreciate how the skeletons are not nonsense <laughs> like they are in kingsfield that's one of the things that i really hated going back to that um they're difficult 
I like how the encounter I, I like how every enemy encounter is designed and I like how the the rooms are spaced for those encounters I guess it's just an issue of I um, I don't like how the randomization affects my ability to learn the environment each time I don't know how much room I have to back up and stuff like that But yeah, otherwise the, uh, like, the feel is great. It's funny because, you know, uh, last week when I, when I played this, my initial impression was, oh, the game feels really fast. Like, like my memories of the Kingsfield games is everything moves really slow. But, <laughs> turns out Kingsfield is a lot faster than I remember. Maybe it's just because I'm running it on an emulator on my computer now with a, with a, um, you know, a better computer. But uh, playing it again <laughs> was weird, uh, seeing how fast the game actually was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know anyone who anyone who plays the, uh, like from software games is gonna just absolutely critique every part of it and probably be unfair in parts of it. <laughs> I was playing a, a Sekiro last week, and uh, Sekiro is a game I will maintain that I do not like. Um, I just, I, I, there's a lot of choices about how they changed that game that I don't care for. Um, uh, but like, yeah, I, I totally critiqued every aspect of my experience with that. And I feel like I was fairly, uh, pretty fair with it. Um, but yeah, yeah. I, and I don't think I, I don't know if I mentioned where the, uh, where the swinging axes were. I think one of the things that I really liked in the first Kingsfield game was that, Ooh, the keys just here. Okay. I like that the hitboxes are actually responsive <laughs> because in Kingsfield they are not. <laughs> uh, but, uh, the axes, I guess I'm curious if, if, um, I'm curious if this is intended to be like, more for for new players who have never played this kind of game before or for you know people like me who have played all the kingsfield stuff um whoop oh i forgot i have new weapons and i could i could just equip that whoops <laughs> okay i keep forgetting i have the new weapon um yeah, there we go. I get really rambly when I when I play games and try to talk about them when they're very difficult. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oops. Um, this is something. Uh, so I don't know if um, I don't know if the 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 Kingsfield games had this happen where where if you go into the menu the game freezes but I was I was curious about that because I noticed that doesn't happen I I've noticed that that's a, a thing that happens in a lot of these these demos on this disc I don't know if that's just something that's like a weird programming thing but um, that menus don't pause the game whoops And I mean, I, well, I guess uh, that doesn't happen in Dark Souls 2, but, you know. Uh, mixed with a Spelunky-type game structure. Okay. I haven't actually played that. Because one, one of my questions slash concerns was, how is the rogue element coming into this? Like, are there going to be checkpoints that you will restart at, a, at the next checkpoint? Because that's the thing with um, something like this is I kind of hate to die and start over, um, you know, after getting three hours into the game. Um, that's my that's my real sticking point is figuring out how the rogue elements are going to work. Because in, in Kingsfield, when I, what I was doing yesterday with that game was I would get to a save point, save the game. And then I would allow myself to just explore and keep dying and restarting and dying and restarting to explore the area. Sort of what I do with the beginning of uh, Dark Souls. 
once you get to like Firelink Shrine, you you have free reign to basically explore around and figure out what path you want to take. And sure, if you die a few times, it doesn't really matter because everything you need is right there in Firelink. Um, and the same sort of goes for Kingsfield 1. Oh, whoops. I'm curious about how that's going to work in this, though. Uh, vision is that a run would be about 40 minutes long if you were to complete it. Okay, so... Yeah, so then does that include, like, a boss fight or anything? Because that's the real challenge, I guess. So much of trying to figure out... I'm trying to envision how that works with that. Because once you get good at a level in Dark Souls, you just run past all the enemies and then run straight to the boss. But I suppose if we're envisioning this as like restarting the game every time, then that's not really something you could do, I guess. There's certain enemies that you would have to fight. Oh, and I, I think it totally could. Um, I, I just, I, I wonder if it's a thing of like figuring out how to make the like procedural generation match that. Like, I don't know, there's something about how, how procedural generation tends to make it, make the environments feel? I don't know, I don't know how to explain that well. Um, like the, it was the thing that happened with Bloodborne, where Bloodborne had the chalice dungeons, and the chalice dungeons just kind of felt like, like Lego block level design a little bit. And I feel like I've probably s seen games with this kind of thing that, that, where that can still result in really interesting levels. And there's like a basic structure to the whole thing that is pretty cool. Um, yeah, Chalice Dungeons were a disappointment, <laughs> that's for sure. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Here we go. But the challenge dungeons were a bit of like extra fun added into the game. Like I won't say, like some of the Kingsfield environments look pretty bad. <laughs> um, but the level design is good. How things intersect and interact is good. Yeah. Oh man, so much of so much of what's great here is the controls being responsive and things hitting in the right spot. Oh shoot, I died. <laughs> but yeah. Everything's at a minimum implement yeah. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> you know, it's a it's a demo and, and get it in there and all that. I, I totally get that. I mean, you know, like I can't say enough how much this feels a hundred percent right like as as modernizing the controls you know the the controls feel great yet they still feel to me like kingsfield and like a good update to them i'd have to go back and play the newer ones and uh like four in eternal ring and see what i think about how uh how they control but i do like this feel i, I like the slower feel I think it works really well. Yeah. And it's made me go back and play Kingsfield too. <laughs> I saw the the thing you were saying on on Twitter, I guess, about yeah, these were these are definitely the like likes and all that. 
Um, I was like looking at all the different enemies in in Kingsfield One. Uh, I I can't remember if Kingsfield Two had really weird enemies like that too, but Kingsfield One's starting enemies were very very weird, and it gave like a very specific tone to the beginning of the game. Um, that I don't think they really nailed with like Dark Souls. I guess Demon Souls kind of did. Oops. Oh, too much. Getting too uh too greedy. Oh, I have no coins yet. Or I do, and I. Like, even at a bare minimum, um, yeah, it, the controls feel great. Um, so let's see, this is a horizontal. The dagger is a forward stab. And the mace is vertical. Great. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, because that was one of the things I remember when I was when I was playing this game last week. Uh, the first thing I mentioned was, "Oh yeah, the stab is really slow," or whatever. pop other games oh yeah that's fine there's i i mean i'm a composer and i rip off everything i hear so you know <laughs> uh, i think that's just how you get good original things it's the obscurity of the references and all that <laughs> um but yeah uh i like the skeletons i think I, I really like the skeletons and the blobs i think it's just the the sandworm that i had issues with uh it's really just like how I interact with the sandworm. It's projectile. I haven't figured out the, the way to avoid the projectile other than to just go behind a wall. Uh, I don't know if that's something I can just strafe around. There's probably a way to strafe around it, right? And I just don't have the timing or the direction right. Yeah, okay, so that, that makes sense. And that's kind of why I was I was mentioning the, um, the, the thing about the Kingsfield running system and how the stamina system works on it. Um, well, and it's only because uh, Kingsfield has the infinite running system, so it means you can just, you know, you can run away from those things. Whereas um, here, the way the stamina system works, it doesn't, it, it feels much more risky to, to run away than it does to just try to figure out how to fight it, I guess. Whoops, I guess I didn't close in enough. Oh yeah, oh, that's fine. Yeah, so um, uh, one of the other demos, the ghastly goodies, kind of had the uh, had a similar thing where like the very first thing was so difficult that that I couldn't get through it, and I've I've since gone back to it and figured out how to get past it, and I think they updated it as well, uh, which helped. But yeah, there are some really obnoxious enemies in Kingsfield, though. I mean, those skeletons are really bad. Um, they're one of the worst parts of it because there's there's not really a way to fairly fight them. They're all they're all terrible to fight, and sometimes they'll put like three in a room. And I guess, uh, yeah, because I was thinking uh, with the projectiles on, uh, oops, there we go, the projectiles on the sandworm, that felt like, it felt like I should have been able to circle strafe around it and then hit him from behind, because that's the, that's the King Seal thing, right, with uh, the, the, um, the watermelon plants or whatever. <laughs> um, and I guess that's what I was expecting and, and just didn't work like that. Um, 
but yeah. And I haven't really been looking for it, but should I be looking for secret walls? Because I'm trying to think if how I experienced that in, in Kingsfield 1 a couple days ago. Because there's, there's different colored walls, and those are the save rooms. And then that sort of trains you that you can open doors. Um, I don't know. Just didn't have a... Yeah. Didn't have anything to put behind it. Yeah, I get that. Okay, so is there another there's another entrance that has the scully behind it, I think, right? Maybe it's just over here. <laughs> oh, another herb I didn't get. There we go. <laughs> Okay, and let's uh, go on full health there. Go out. Okay, cool. Yeah. So uh, I wonder, I wonder how much of it was, you know, my first playthrough, I, I got like a bad randomization, you know? Um, and uh, my reaction to the Soul series in general has always been like the very first stretch of the game feels the hardest. And then after that, it feels like you're just stomping the games. Uh, and it kind of feels the same here, where like once you get the base, you're stomping an enemy. <laughs> and maybe that's too easy, but, uh, but by the time I got that, I appreciated it. Um, certainly I thought uh, like... Uh, the first part of, uh, I guess Dark Souls 1 doesn't have that issue, but Dark Souls 2 definitely does, and uh, Sekiro had that issue, Demon Souls kind of had that issue, where like the first stretch of it and learning the game is really, really hard, and it's so much on top of all of that, um, and like the first few bosses are not great. Um, so I don't know, maybe it was just an issue where like... My first run of the game, I didn't figure out how to get the mace uh, in time. I put the coin in the well and then didn't get anything and thought, oh, well, okay. <laughs> you know, like I didn't expect that was how I was going to get the mace. But, uh, but yeah. So cool. Uh, I'm excited to play more of this when, uh, when, it, when it happens. Right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and move on to another game. Let's see. There were a couple games that I, I didn't manage to get working, but now that I have, uh, now that I fixed the capture, I figured out how to get that working, I think. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I hope so too. And, and, you know, I mean, like, you know, I'm not the core audience for roguelike games. <laughs> I I just don't really understand the concept of rogue too much. I don't I don't know what it is, but I just there's not been a roguelike that has clicked with me personally. But I mean, everything else about the game is there. Like I, I like the controls. I, I you know I spouted off the things that I liked about it, um, and I'm definitely gonna play it on stream uh, when it comes out. So looking forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, thanks for uh, stopping by and, and talking about it. Because I, I appreciate learning a little bit more about what the intentions are. Because that, that was a, a big question that I had was how that stuff was going to work. <laughs> 